All right, question 16 to 18 in the ACER red paper. Question 16, according to table one of the following, most of the seal's oxygen is located in. Um, so looking at table one for the seal, we've got to figure out the amount of oxygen in each respective tissue or um, organ. So for the lungs, we have 350 milliliters of volume and 16% of that is oxygen. So um, we've got 350 times 0.16 and 0.16 is equivalent to 16 on 100. So um, 350 times 16 on 100 is equal to 3.5 times 16. And from there, we can just do some simple um, long multiplication <clears throat> by hand. So you get 0, 3, 2, 1, 0, 5, 3. <clears throat> So you get 56 milliliters. So just remember with your long, uh, so with your hand written long multiplication um, to not forget that decimal point because it's quite important. So um, for oxygen in the blood, we have 4.5 liters and the table has given us um, the value that of those 4.5 liters, um, 25 mils um, per 100 mils of that is oxygen. So um, to figure out the amount of oxygen in the blood, we've got to do 4.5 times 25 times 10. The reason we've got to tack on the extra 10 is because um, the uh, the number of, <clears throat> sorry, the volume is in liters, but our um, the amount of oxygen is in per 100 mils. So we've got to scale it up to per liter by adding that times 10. All right, um, so from there, it's pretty simple. You get 45 times 25. And if you do the um, hand multiplication, as demonstrated over here, you get 1,125 milliliters. Um, as for oxygen in the muscle, we get we have uh, six kilograms and 45 mils of oxygen per kilogram. So it's pretty simple, six times 45. You get 270 mils. Um, and oxygen in tissue water, well, there's 20 liters and five mils of oxygen per litre, so it's 20 times five. All right, so overall, um, oxygen in the blood accounts for the most amount of um, oxygen in a organ, so the answer is therefore A. Uh, so you can, uh, and that's sort of like um, supportive. If you understand a bit about like the body in that um, you probably wouldn't expect as much oxygen to be in the muscle just because it's gonna be using it. And the, um, sorry, and the, um, blood is sort of the main oxygen carrying capacity um, in the body just because it's going to be transporting it to so many organs and tissues etc um, so, so for question 16 the answer is a question 17 um, so I'm going to approach this question a little bit differently I'm going to approach it from the perspective of someone who doesn't who hasn't actually read anything or doesn't actually know anything about aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration before um, having read the stem because um, technically for most game set questions, you're meant to be able to answer the question purely based off the stem. So let's try that for question 17. Um, so of the following, the best explanation as to why the lactic acid, uh, lactic acid levels rise markedly as the CO resurfaces is that um, A, lactic acid is the product of anaerobic respiration. So um, that is true. And that is also indicated by the stem. So that is a, um, so um, lactic acid is a product of anaerobic respiration, but um, we're, we're trying to explain why lactic acid is spiking as the CO is resurfacing. So the CO is going from an anaerobic environment to an aerobic environment. And um, if it's going, if it's switching from an anaerobic to an aerobic state, we'd actually expect less um, lactic acid production as it resurfaces. Um, so just resurfacing wouldn't explain a spike. What we, we'd expect lactic acid um, production to be pretty constant throughout uh, its uh, diving phase and importantly, towards even towards the end of the diving phase. Um, so B, uh, blood flow resumes the muscles. Um, that That is probably the most uh, truthful answer. So we do know that um, blood flow does uh, get restricted to the muscles based on the line just before figure one, the reduced blood flow to the muscles represented in figure one is typical of the change of blood flow to all muscles. So um, if you look at the psoas muscle, the um, blood flow has been reduced um, to only 6% of its 
initial um, pre-dive value. So um, we do know that uh, blood flow does decrease during um, the diving anaerobic uh, phase. So as it um, resurfaces, um, all that blood is going to come rushing back through the muscles. And we know um, from, the, from the line just before figure two, um, that during the, a dive, muscles rely heavily on anaerobic respiration. So they're going to be building up all this lactic acid um, during the, that dive phase, that anaerobic phase. And then when it resurfaces, all the blood is just going to come rushing through all those muscles and um, it's going to pick up all that lactic acid that's been accumulating in the muscles. Um, so B is the most truthful answer. Um, C, uh, the rate of lactic acid production increases. Um, that's not... True, as we said before, we'd expect it to be pretty constant um, throughout the the dive. Um, and we wouldn't expect this humongous spike as shown by figure two. And finally, for D, carbon dioxide is converted to lactic acid. Um, so if, uh, if that was true, then that would actually make sense in the context of the um, statement. So if carbon dioxide was converted to lactic acid at the end of the dive, um, as it was resurfacing, then we'd, we would get this huge spike of lactic acid. But um, again, the GAMP set is meant to be answered from the context of someone who hasn't really done a lot of study before. And so um, you're meant to get most of your information from the stem and nowhere in the stem has it indicated that carbon dioxide is converted into lactic acid. So it's kind of a, a bit more of a maybe answer, but um, B is the most true. So um, therefore we would answer B in the actual GAMP set. So question 17 is answered B. All right, finally, question 18. Um, in accounting for a particular change in the blood flow to one or more organs of the following, the least reasonable explanation of that change is that. Um, A, light barely penetrates more than 10 meters below the water surface. Um, so what organ is experiencing the change for that statement? Uh, that's the eye. Uh, if we look at figure one, uh, what's happening to the eye? The eye is receiving less blood flow uh, as demonstrated by the retina. Um, so if it is experiencing less blood flow, um, does A make sense in that context? If light barely penetrates, uh, well, if light is barely penetrating below the water surface, we don't really need our eye. So therefore we can reduce the amount of blood flow to the eye. So A is therefore not the correct answer. Um, B, complex mental processing is required during a dive. So let's look at the brain. Um, so a seal's brain um, will experience less blood flow during a dive. Uh, sorry, not less. Uh, it will experience the same amount of blood flow during a dive. Um, and therefore, um, if complex mental processing is required during a dive, we're going to want to keep up the amount of blood flow um, that we're allocating to the brain. Um, so therefore, uh, B is not the correct answer because it's kind of explained by figure one. Um, C, lactic acid is toxic to muscle cells. Um, so it's a typical tricky GAMS, that sort of question where um, it throws you a truthful fact, but it's not the correct answer um, in this context. So lactic acid, yes, it is um, toxic to muscle cells. However, um, it's not the reason why um, the muscle experiences the change. So um, a seal's muscles during a dive, it's it will receive less blood flow. Um, but if lactic acid is toxic to muscle cells, then we want to be removing the lactic acid. So we're actually going to be wanting to increase the amount of um, blood flow to the muscles, but that's not what the seal um, is experiencing. So um, the seal is actually experiencing a decrease in blood flow. So um, C doesn't actually explain the change in um, blood flow to the muscles. Um, that uh, the change in blood flow to the muscles is occurring to some other reason. Um, so C is the incorrect answer. Um, and D, metabolism slows during a dive. So what's the organ that's affected there? Um, that's just all organs, I guess, for metabolism. Um, are we seeing a decrease um, in blood flow to all organs in general? Um, we are. So therefore, D is not the correct answer because um, metabolism does, if metabolism did indeed slow during a dive, we would see the changes that we are seeing um, in figure one. Um, and that is a decrease in oxygen across the board. So um, in conclusion, uh, C is the correct answer for 18.